Hey guys, it's, what day is it? Everybody. It's Sunday, July 25th, just before lunch. It's 11.17 a.m. We are out trying to get some steps in before it gets obnoxiously hot again today. It's already 75. So, yeah, it's already 75 degrees. We interrupted a squirrel fight just now. I did happen to catch one picture of one of the squirrels. I'll put it here. Although I have said it before, I'll say it again. I suck at wildlife photography, so I think I'm too noisy. Anyway, we're just taking a breather because we want to get steps in, but we don't want to have to take a second shower when we get home. So we're trying not to get too sweaty. We should have done this before we took showers. We didn't plan it very well. Anyway, we're going to go get our steps in and I'll be back. Happy Monday morning, sort of. It's not morning. Let's turn the vlog camera on today. Uh, it's 1.07 p.m. Monday, July 26th. <clears throat> Let's see, things are dinging. I've got the vlog edited and saved, rendered, and it's loading right now to YouTube. And as soon as that's done, I will write today's post for the art groups and schedule out the post for the rest of the week. I am listening to some YouTube while that is going on. I also reorganized my daily What's become sort of my daily sketchbook. It's not art practice, you know, this one. <laughs> um, I switched out bags um, just to make things a little easier for me because I seem to mostly be doing this on the sofa and or I kind of want to at some point take it out with me. And I think this blue bag opens flatter and it might work a little better for me using my supplies I want to bring. So um, I, Hold on. I need to get the tripod out so I can be hands free. All right, so this is, uh, I love bags. Y'all know this, should know this. I've said it on camera before, that little other flowered zipper, zippered pencil case. While I don't use it all the time, I don't want to get rid of it. I do love it and I do occasionally use it. Uh, message from my daughter. So um, I'll get back to her in a second. Anyway, so I have lots of different cases around. One of the things I like about the flowered case is the elastic band on the back because I can attach the bag to the journal. So I took this one, which I already have, and this is from Amazon somewhere. If I can figure out the link, I'll link it below. Um, I sewed a band to the back of it. It has a pocket back here that you can put, um, it was already open, that you can put um, you know, ticket stubs or little bits of paper in. And then it opens and will open out flat. And it has plenty of room for my pen, my watercolor palette, my uh, swatch sheet, my white pens. There's some things in this zipper pocket, plus there's another pouch back here. It works really well. And again, I can open it flat on the table if I'm out and about with my sketchbook. Works and everything, I can see everything at a glance, which was kind of the point. So. I think that'll work really well. And then I can do that. So that works really well. Then I talked in last week's vlog about the M. Graham paint that um, was like jellified and wouldn't come out of the tube and how I broke the tube open and um, mixed it in a recycled container with some ox gall and some water until I got it blended out. And then I was gonna just let it dry and have it big like one, be one giant big re, uh, watercolor pan that you re-wet. So that's that. Uh, I'm gonna leave the lid off for a couple more days. It is an M. Graham paint, which I think their binder is honey. So they never really dry down completely, I don't think. Um, but we'll see what happens, it might. See, this part is a little bit sticky, but that's probably the honey. So I'm gonna leave, probably leave it open for a couple more days and we'll see what happens. And then the dusky palette that I made is just about dry. 
And I did add some more pigment to a couple of colors. You'll notice if you compare the swatch card uh, from before to now, their colors are a little different. Plus I added one more color. Uh, yep, yeah, love that. Can't wait to paint some projects with that. The pans are drying some more. Anyway, and things are just a mess up here. So I'm waiting for the computer to finish its thing and then I can get all my writing done for the day. And then as per usual on Monday, then I have to go do chores. So anyway, I think that's it for the minute. I don't have anything else planned, <laughs> just chores and random, random art projects. And I guess getting back to the daughter, it's probably important. All right, that's it for right now. I'll be back. <sighs> Tell you a little secret. My birthday's coming up. The daughter want, not, wants to know what I want to do to celebrate. My answer, I have no idea. I don't know. No idea. I'll let you know what we did, but I have no idea at the moment. <laughs> There's probably just too much going on. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I got stuff done on the table. I have a stack of vintage linens and handkerchiefs, some of which are recently purchased, some of which I've had for a long time, and I don't remember where they all came from. But anyway, um, they are ironed as well as they're gonna get. And at some point this week, I think I'm gonna be photographing them and turning them into a, something more digital that I can print onto paper like this big and then use them in some of my paper clusters and art journaling. I really like the idea of doing this and I have this collection, so I think I'm gonna do that. There is a couple of Etsy sellers that sell digital files of images just like that, where they get antique doilies and things, and they um, scan, photograph them and, and turn them into, or scan them and turn them into uh, digital download. Um, I'll try to link one of the stores I've purchased from before down below. Um, anyway, I also got all of the uh, written posts for the Facebook art groups written, scheduled, all the way throughout, out through August 1st. And so that is done. I will be probably later this week trying to get next week's posts written and scheduled also um, ahead of time because Tuesday is my birthday and I don't have to worry about it on my birthday. So like, they should be done Monday anyway. Anyway, otherwise I'm gonna do them Sunday so I can get the whole week done on Sunday, maybe. Anyway. <sighs> I guess I've been delaying long enough and it's probably time to go downstairs and do the dishes, more than likely. I also need to check the mail. So I guess I better get it done. It's not gonna do itself. All right, I'll be back. Adulting is needed, I guess. Hello everybody. I have no idea what time it is. I think it's still morning, but I have honestly no clue. Um, if you haven't seen last week's vlog or the announcement video that came out on Thursday last week, then I will link them down below. You should probably watch them. But for those who didn't see them, my mother passed away early this morning. It is Tuesday morning, July 27th, I think. <clears throat> um, yeah, anyway, I got a very early phone call from the hospice for my dad's request. And I've spent the morning making phone calls and arrangements and yeah. So anyway, and the messages are still coming in because of course some people we left voicemail for her and it's a lot. So anyway, I'm taking a little bit of a break from live arty chats and um, that sort of thing. Um, meetings. Oh, lots of mail. I guess yesterday's mail finally came at some point yesterday. I don't know. Anyway, meetings and that sort of thing this week. I will be back hopefully to regular schedule next Monday, but my family and I, I think, need a break and I know I've got to help my dad with a lot of stuff now. <clears throat> I'm probably going to have to drive up there at some point this week and help him clean out closets and all of that stuff. So, anyway, my mom was 
a great supporter of my art journey and this channel and the Facebook art groups and all of her children's endeavors, even when we didn't get along very well, but she was always there to support me nonetheless. So anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. Let me go take care of this and fix my flag, which is crooked again. Uh, anyway, it's gonna be hot again today too, so I'm gonna shut up the house and turn the air conditioner on. I will be back.
morning, everybody. It's Wednesday, July 28th, 11.09 a.m. And of course, I've already been on the phone a lot with my dad and other people regarding my mom's passing and all of that. Anyway, I spent some time this morning cleaning out my Windsor Newton pocket box because it was gross. And also switching out a few of the colors in here from the originals, taking out the white in particular. I'd already added three colors across the top, which are a dioxazine purple, a Payne's gray, and a black. Um, and then I switched out some of the other colors and I added in um, a pinky magenta color, switched out one of the blues for a more of a turquoise cerulean, added a very light pale green and this dark forest green. I kept the sap green um, and I kept the burnt umber, but I added, added sepia. I think that's a better palette that's gonna work a little better for me. Um, so yeah, so I did that this morning. I'm gonna catch up on some drawing and do some drawing in advance the next few days because of my mom's death are gonna be weird. So I'm gonna, I have some quiet time this morning. So I'm gonna sit and do that this morning and prep August journals and stay busy because that's a thing i'll be back morning july 29th it is 10 29 a.m according to the car clock i am gonna go run some errands i need to check the p.o box because i have absolutely no idea when was the last time i was over there uh, for those that don't know i do have anxiety disorder issues and when I am stressed, uh, yeah, I have trouble remembering stuff. So anyway, we're gonna go over there first and then I'm gonna go to Target to pick up a few things. In particular, I'm looking for a appropriate blouse, not a t-shirt for the funeral and memorial services. I have a funeral skirt, fun fact. I don't know where my blouse went because I had a, a blouse too. Um, it may be that it was too small and so I purged it, but now I've lost weight. So yeah, anyway, it's a whole thing. <sighs> okay, so we're going to go get that done today and then maybe start some planning for 2022. Staying away from family chats if I can possibly help myself because the family is making me completely crazy and that's a thing so anyway all right I'll be back this whole family of raccoons that come like almost every night they walk seemingly past definitely past the driveway camera they seem to walk towards the front door we can never figure out where they're going we try all we the try. time. All the time. Can't find them. Can't find them. They're gone. Tonight's no exception. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday, July 30th. It's just after 8 a.m. i got to try to get my sunglasses. Hang on. See if I can do this without turning the camera off. Because I don't know. Oh, there we go. Um, I am... Hold on. So, I am... Oh, going to go out for a walk. Bob's off uh, running a couple of errands he needs to run this morning. He has a couple of appointments. And um, for those that don't know, Bob has had a number of skin cancer type moles removed. They are actually skin cancer. And um, he has some more. The doctor's pretty sure they're not skin cancer, but... Um, they do bug Bob, so they're going to remove them anyway and test them. So he's off doing that this morning. Anyway, um, I'm going to go out and get some steps in. The last two days between everything else that's happened with my mom being ill and passing away and family stuff that's ensued and it being <laughs> 5 million degrees again in Oregon um, and hot unusually hot. Um, I haven't gotten any steps in, not enough in the last couple days anyway. I haven't, certainly haven't hit 10,000 in I think three days. So I'm going to go get some steps in this morning because it is going to be at least 99 today if that's what they're expecting, if not hotter. 
which means we probably won't go walking later. So anyway, all the kids are coming over for family dinner night tonight. I think we're celebrating my birthday. They all asked what I want. I said to not have to do the dishes. So, you know, simple things. <laughs> anyway. And then tomorrow we're headed up to my dad's to hang out with him for a bit, see if he needs anything, bring him some food, cook barbecue. I think we're going to barbecue as a family, barbecue and stuff like that. So, yeah. Anyway. That's all I can manage right now. I do think that at some point I'm going to do some grief um, journaling artwork. Uh, maybe a brief YouTube video or Facebook art group video. I don't know for sure yet, but if it's something you guys are all interested in, leave a comment down below how to deal with like strong emotions in your art. It is something I have been doing. I just haven't shown much of it on camera. So anyway, I'm going to go get some steps in and see what I can see. I'll be back. Everybody. and I forgot to close the vlog again last night it's been a it's been a run rough week it's Sunday morning August 1st it's just after nine o'clock we're headed for a walk which you'll talk I'll talk about in next week's vlog I hope you guys have had a better week than we have and that you continue to do so and don't forget to have fun creating go for walks enjoy what you can while you can and uh, I'll see y'all next week. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you want to support the free content here on YouTube and in the Facebook art groups, I have a Patreon. I have an Etsy shop. I've got YouTube community. Sign up for one of them. They're all linked down in the description below. Some in my link tree list of links. Anyway, I'll see you next week. Go out and have a good one. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.